talk about Jesus and the good things he's done. Put our situation in a box like God, you know, he he wants to show his glory, you know, a lot of times he'll put us in these situations, you know, so he can show his glory. Um, like, for example, the Israel, the journey through um, Israel took 40 years, um, you know, caring for 3 million people for 40 years in the wilderness in the desert. Um, you know, a lot of people, they focus on, um, you know, the parting of the Red Sea, because yeah, that was a miracle, you know, God made, um, you know, the sea into a highway. Um, and a lot of people focus on that. But the awesomeness of the wilderness journey is that 3 million people were sustained in the desert, like a small, dry, fruitless area for 40 years, you know, just to merely exist. Um, you know, they, so at the end of each day of the journey, they would have needed two to three, si two to three p sizes of Rhode Island for them to camp. So that would have been a total of 750 miles squared. And the amount of food alone is astounding when you consider the fact that they were traveling in a country with no natural abundance of food to be found. Just the amount of uh, food needed to keep them from starving each day would have been 1500 tons a day you know and we probably now in this day we probably would have eaten like way more than that like 4,000 tons so just to haul the food into the desert would for one day would have taken two freight trains each one a mile long at today's prices it would have cost 400 million dollars a day you know with inflation and that sort of thing 10 to 15 million um, you know, and also for the amount of water for washing and drinking and doing dishes, it would have been calculated. They would have had 11 million gallons of water a day. So just to haul the water, it would have taken a freight train 1800 miles long for every day of the 40 years. So God placed his people by his own decision and plan in a situation where every natural source of supply was not available and he, they had to rely on him, you know, to know that he is almighty, that he keeps his promises, that he cannot, that he can be relied on, that he is not, you know, limited to any particular set of circumstances or any particular situation. So this is also true for us. Um, you know, sometimes we need to not, you know, not take our eyes off of, the conditions and you know we need to take our eyes off of the circumstances and you know focus on the conditions and also i'm going to remind you guys um of god's dealings with gideon so when there was thirty two thousand men when he started when he wanted you know to fight with the midianites and god said there's too many men let some of them go you know if we win the battle with 32,000 men, Israel will say, hey, we did it with our own power. So Gideon said, if there's any people afraid, go home. So 10,000 went. So there's, you know, 22,000 left. God said, there's still too many people. Take them down to the brook to drink. And the ones who lap like a dog, keep them. 300 met that condition. So God whittled the army because he wanted, you know, the glory. And he fought and defeated them you know, with 300 men. So Lord, we thank you for your awesomeness. I know that, um, you know, in my situation alone, it's been like, like we were talking about before with the different deliverance ministries and stuff, you know, God will often send um, people, you know, to help you and to pray and stuff like this. But in the end, it's ultimately Jesus. And when I was suffering, and when I was looking for help and stuff, you know, it, it, there was none to be found and thank goodness for Jesus and the Holy Spirit, um, that helped me and taught me how to pray and to, you know, do warfare and, you know, do these, all these battles and, and, um, yeah, like I've gotten a lot, like my life has totally turned around. I've gotten, you know, a lot of freedom and a lot of peace and I can actually hear my own voice <laughs> in my head, which is a blessing. Um, so yeah, just like with that, I'm trying, you know, I, sometimes I get focused on, 
you know, what I'm not and where I want to be instead of focusing on, you know, how far I've came and how, you know, how much God um, has delivered me and delivered all of us. Um, so yeah, praise God. Um, we're gonna uh, do communion now. So Lord, we thank you, um, you know, for this group, we just ask you to anoint my prayers, Lord, and just bless everybody in this group and listening. Um, we pray that the heavens open above us, Lord, and we hide ourselves, we take ourselves to the secret place of the Most High by faith, Lord. You know, we forbid any backlash, retaliation, revenge to come against anybody involved in the warfare, including our loved ones. We put rings of fire in the blood of Jesus around us and our homes in Jesus Christ's name. And as soon as anything leaves, it must not linger dwell. Our transfer, it must go straight to the pit of hell or wherever Jesus Christ sends it. So Lord, we just ask you to pray through me through these prayers, Lord. And I give you all the glory, Lord. I know this is not me. It is all you, Lord, less of me and more of you. So, you know, I just pray for you to guide me through this prayer session. And we just pray for mighty healing and deliverance. And of course, I got to stand up when I'm warring. When I'm warfaring. <laughs> My son's like throwing a tantrum now. I can hear him too, <laughs> yelling. Oh boy. Um, okay, so we're going to um, just start off by breaking some curses and stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, we're doing communion. Yeah, not likely. I almost got sidetracked there for a minute um thank you lord um we thank you lord for your body this represents your body and of course you know our liquid our water our juice it represents your blood you know we just prepare our hearts lord jesus christ and i'm just going to take a minute just to think about you um you know on the cross dying for our sins so we thank you lord thank you jesus for your blood and the power in your blood and, you know, sometimes I'll picture myself, like, sitting at the communion table with Jesus, too, while he's, like, sitting there, you know, with his disciples at the Last Supper. That's very, very powerful um, as well. Um, you know, I can often, like, feel a lot of peace in that situation. Um, but, you know, ultimately, the Lord, he just wants us to remember him and honor him. Um, so, Lord, just, you know, we confess. Just confess anything. Holy Spirit, reveal anything that needs to be confessed. You know, we just confess any hidden pride, any sin, hidden sin, any evil lust or any thoughts or desires, Lord. We just lay them at your cross, at the foot of your cross, Lord. And I repent of any doors that I have opened, you know, for anything that I've looked upon that I shouldn't have looked upon, you know, for any disobedience, rebellion, pride, for any word curses, for anything I have spoken or done, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name, I confess it. And I repent, Lord. I repent of you know, any gluttony or rebellion. Um, and also, you know, we forgive everybody, Lord, because it says in Matthew 5, 44, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them who curse you, do good to them that hate you and pray for them, which despitefully use you and persecute you. So we just pray for those people that, you know, that we need to forgive. And we pray that you soften our hearts, Lord, to forgive them and when and when we have angry thoughts help us to you know rebuke the thoughts lord so just cleanse us in your holy blood lord everything concerning us including our thoughts our desires our attitudes cleanse us lord our decisions in the blood of jesus we just bind our will and everything to you jesus christ we are here we love you we come for freedom healing fellowship and deliverance lord but help us you know to think about you and to honor you lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this group and this ministry. Please bless us and protect us. And I'm going to just proclaim the scripture. Um, 1 Corinthians, the Lord Jesus, the same night in which you were betrayed, you took bread. And when you had given thanks, you blessed it and you broke it. And you said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Um, so yeah, just, just picture the Lord, you know, on the cross or, you know, just take a minute just to really... Think about him and meditate on him. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your body, Lord. We will eat now and we proclaim healing by the stripes of Jesus. We proclaim Michelle, Andrea, Nina, Marie, Mariana, Pierre, Christian, Don, Trish, Patrick, Kelly, Rose, Rosina, Kevin, Sandra, anyone listening, taking communion with us, 
We proclaim that we have a blood covenant with the true in God ratified by the shed blood of Jesus Christ on the cross at Calvary. We break every contract, vow, dedication, oath, agreement with Satan in the kingdom of darkness, anything with our names, photos, DNA, anything belonging to us on any altar or anywhere that is in possession of the enemy be covered in the blood of jesus in every dream realm anywhere lord and destroy it with holy fire cut any soul ties lord and cleanse us of all evil disobedience rebellion in jesus name we eat thank you lord we're meeting on behalf of baby thank you lord yes we cover our children in the blood of jesus christ Thank you for the blood. This represents the blood of the new covenant, which all of our sins, past, present, and future are all remitted and forgiven. Everyone participating. And we proclaim that we, Michelle, Andrea, Nina, Mariana, Pierre, Christian, Trish, Dawn, Patrick, Kelly, Kevin, Sandra, we and our families are redeemed from every curse, every ancestral curse, from every curse of the law and from every ancestral curse of the law. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will drink now. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes. And we proclaim the power proclamation, proclaiming and speaking yourself, speaking something positive, especially a Bible scripture, because it has the Bible has supernatural power. And I can testify to that. I've actually felt myself being healed you know, supernaturally while I'm listening to the Bible or while I'm reading the Bible, I can feel my mind being renewed, my heart, myself being healed. So thank you for the power in your word. And we proclaim a new dimension of health, a new level of faith, a new realm of energy and divine strength. We declare that we are living, walking testimonies to all those around us who are defeated in this world. We pray that the world would come to know you. We pray that our family friends would come to know you. Our children's friends would come to know you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we proclaim no weapon formed against us or in our dreams, our health, anything concerning Anybody on this group, anyone listening will prosper in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, I condemn no weapon formed against our families. Anyone on this group are listening, our future generation shall prosper in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, I condemn. We cut off those four tongues now in Jesus Christ's name and I bring the blood, the body, the sacrifice, the life, the death, the resurrection the empty tomb, the rule and dominion of Jesus Christ. And I break off every word curse. Now go and I bring judgment from the Lord Jesus Christ against every foul power, witchcraft, block art and curse in the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We break off any dedications now, any demonic dedications. And I proclaim Galatians 3.13, that Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree. And we just cover our bloodlines in the precious blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes, back to Adam and Eve on our mother's mother, our mother's father, our father's mother, and our father's father's bloodlines. All of our generational bloodlines in the blood of Jesus Christ, all the way back to Adam and Eve. Everyone on this group, everybody listening, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, thank you, Lord. Cleanse us in your holy blood. Yes, we break these contracts with witchcraft. Now, anything with our names on it, our photos, our DNA stamped with the blood of Jesus Christ, nailed to the cross and roasted with holy fire. We bind every evil priest ministering against us now or coming against us with everlasting chains and fetters of God. We roast them with Holy Spirit. Fire, fresh fire of God, fall upon us for signs wonders and miracles lord hear our prayers we call upon you lord just say i confess all my sins lord and all of my ancestors sins in jesus christ's name say i renounce satan and the kingdom of darkness lord and i ask you jesus come into my heart fill me with your holy spirit we invite you into our homes into our life jesus christ change us sanctify us wash us in your holy blood inside and out lord renew the right spirit within us take out our stony hearts lord and put in a heart of flesh, Lord, and, and put the same mind that is in Christ Jesus in each one of us and help us not to be conformed to this world, but be renewed by the transforming of our minds. Please put on new garments on us now, garments of praise and righteousness. And we thank you for the garments of 
that are in the book of Isaiah, the garments of zeal and the cloak of, or is it the cloak of, the garment of zeal and the cloak of vengeance, yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, now I intercede for these saints in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Please accept our intercession, Lord Jesus Christ. And I proclaim, Lord, that the thief does not come but to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus proclaims in John 10.10 10, that he comes that we may have life in that more abundantly now. And that means that we have more than enough to overflow, more time, energy, love, you know, whatever it may be. But we have more than enough to share with each other and other people. We call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to please set us free, Lord. You are the only one that has a power and authority to do this. We know that we have all power and authority over the enemy to trample on snakes and scorpions according to Luke 10, 19. So we take our power and authority over Satan and the kingdom of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We put you, Satan, and the kingdom of darkness underneath our feet now and we trample upon you with our shoes of the gospel dipped in the blood of Jesus Christ. We cast you out. We refuse anything that is not of the Lord. There, that's better. Um, anything that is not of the Lord, we do not want it. want it. Deliverance will come to us, Lord. Please, we need healing and deliverance, Lord. We call upon you, our Savior, Heavenly Father, as we are standing with my precious brothers and sisters, we ask that you touch each and every one of us, Lord. You know the things that drive us, that hinder us, that defile us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, we are standing in prayer. We ask specifically, touch each, every one of us and destroy and undo all evil assignments of the devil against us. Now we are asking for that powerful anointing, Lord, to break all of these yokes and bondages. Yes, the anointing oil will destroy the yokes and the bondages. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I now bring the fullness of the cross of Jesus Christ, the death of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the life of Jesus Christ, the empty tomb of Jesus Christ, the authority of Jesus Christ, the rule of Jesus, the dominion of Jesus Christ. Now, and we break off every curse of Freemasonry at every level and degree, all witchcraft, Lord, any generational curses, vows with, with Freemasons or vows, also Freemasonry. We break all vows with Marine Kingdom, with spirit spouses. We break all curses on our health, our marriage. Now we break all curses of death and premature death. We break all time release curses. Now, if anything written, spoken, unspoken, transferred to us, I bring Jesus Christ's curse for us. Now, if, and we break it now of all anything transferred, written, spoken. Now, if, go, if we bind anything that is speaking evil over us and decapitate it now and dump the blood of Jesus Christ down our throat. We proclaim and speak. We are healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. We speak life, restoration, peace, over us in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, please. Lord Jesus Christ, I bring the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. His blood shed upon the cross against all blood sacrifices and rituals. And there are every claim against us now. If everyone on this group, everybody listening, our families go. I bring Jesus Christ, the Son of God, sacrifice for us against all ritual sacrifices and their claim against us. Loose us now. I bring the dedication of Jesus Christ for us. And death upon the cross against all ritual dedications. We break them now. Loose us now. Fire of God, fall upon us now. In the name and by the blood of Jesus Christ, I break the power and hold of every curse that has come to us through ritual. Our ritual sacrifice. We bind those witches, warlocks, Satanists, all those workers of iniquity. We bind you. Go. We strip you of your power. Rank it a 40 according to Luke 10, 19. We cast you into the abyss now. Go. Never to return, go infirmity, sickness, disease, all hereditary curses and illnesses. Loose us now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. We dip our DNA in the blood of Jesus Christ, wherever it is in the, in the enemy's kingdom. We erase it now from these altars with the blood of Jesus Christ. Go, we neutralize any witchcraft done against us now through the blood of Jesus Christ. Loose us now. We just now say, go, I break the power and hold of every curse that has come through ritual sacrifice. We break your legal right, Satan. Go in the name and by the blood of Jesus Christ. I break the power and hold of every curse that has come to us through transfer from another human being. Fall, loose us now through the blood of Jesus Christ. Fresh fire of God, fall upon us from head to toe, Lord. Head to toe, anything not of you, deliver us 
with your Holy Spirit fire. Baptize us in your Holy Spirit fire. Burn away all wickedness now, like Psalm 11 now. Angels, make them confounded and put to shame that defies and seek after our souls. Make their way dark and slippery, like, like Psalm 35. Go, loose us now. Now we bind our feet to the narrow path of righteousness. Now, everyone on this group, everyone listening, we bind our feet to the narrow paths of righteousness and the plans and assignments you have for our life. Angels of deliverance, go forth on our path and destroy every trap, snare, wall of the enemy. Now, go. Any weapon forming against our dreams, roast now. Roast to ash as we sweep up all this demonic debris to the foot of Jesus Christ. Go. Loose us now. Infirmity, sickness, disease. I bind every demonic ruler over us and decapitate them and dump the blood of Jesus Christ down their throat. Roast them now. Let that unending tempest storm of arrows of Yahweh dipped in the blood of Jesus be upon Satan, the kingdom of darkness, coming against us now till they are scattered, fruited, and destroyed. We bind every spirit spouse and every spirit full of symptom and source. Roast to ashes now. Go. Loose us now. Go. There they go. Every demonic child, loose us now. We abort every spirit full of pregnancy. By the hand of God, go voodoo, all oh, voodoo spiders, yes, such a thing, covered in the blood of Jesus Christ and roasted. All these demonic webs covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fly swatter, squish every demonic bug, full loose us now. In the name and by the blood of Jesus Christ, I break the power and hold of anything transferred from another, from any transfer spirits. Go, go, go to the pit, go into the abyss now. Holy Ghost fire roadblock, I'll ask for projection. Oh, loose us now. In the name and by the blood of Jesus Christ, I break the power and hold of every curse that has come to anyone on this group or listening. Our children through word curses now. I break those, those contracts. Now, go any devils enforcing any word curses, any curses whatsoever covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Go, Lucy Saints now, Lucy Saints. Get out of our house and fire over our house now, over everybody involved in the warfare. Fire, hotter than hell, a million times hotter than hell, Holy Spirit, fire. Hotter, 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 burn and die, burn and die, Holy Ghost, fire. Boil out of our blood now, anything, any fakula, fashina fakula, anything defiling us, go, loose us now, any poison. Now, go, we inject Holy Ghost blood transfusion lord yes take us jesus christ to your operating room jesus christ yes take us to your operating room and heal everything gone wrong in a dream heal our minds our souls our spirits transform us lord where in our relationships our marriages uh, deliver us where we need deliverance lord heal us where we need healing we are healed by the stripe of jesus christ and we continue to dip us in the holy blood of Jesus Christ, our minds, our wills, our emotions, the rooms that hold our emotions in the blood of Jesus Christ, we forbid for more than one emotion to come out at a time. Go, loose us now, go anger, unforgiveness, bitterness, we uproot that root of bitterness, go frustration, discouragement, heaviness, oppression, depression, go suicide, go to the pit of hell now, go, if your name is called, leave now. I strip you of your power, rank, and authority. We have authority over you. God has given us power and authority to reign as kings and priests on earth and for all eternity in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I bind up all evil inside and around anybody involved in these prayers. Now I bind them with everlasting chains and fetters of God. Yes, God has given us power and authority to reign as kings and priests. And greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. The weapons formed against us will prosper. I strip all of this, this evil of its power, rank, and authority, and I bind it at the bottom of the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ for judgment. Now, fire of God, fall upon us in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Rose, everything that is not of you, go, yes, cover us in the blood of Jesus Christ. All of our bodies and body systems, every body function in the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, go, everyone in this group, yes. Everybody listening, everyone in our households and our families, cover us in the blood of Jesus Christ. Our organs, our hearts, Lord, heal our broken hearts. Yes, cover our every cell tissue, gene, DNA, and your holy blood, Jesus Christ. Yes, anything not of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, loose us now. Go, go to the pit now. We are children 
of the Most High God, sanctified by the blood of the Lamb, Lord, we remit all of our ancestors' sins. Loose us now. We bind every familiar spirit and paralyze them. Go, we break your backbone with the hands of the Holy Ghost and roast them. Come out now. Go, marine witches. Holy Ghost, laugh a concentrated flood mixed with the blood of the Lamb. We sweep all marine witches, all marine kingdom through the foot of Jesus Christ, Lord. We erase, we erase every witchcraft identification mark with the blood of Jesus Christ. Hide us under the shadow of your wings, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ now. We yes, decapitate every serpent and dump the blood of Jesus Christ down their throat. Roast them now. Go snakes. Go scorpions. Loose us now. Holy Ghost, acid concentrated flood mixed with the blood of the Lamb. We sweep all animal spirits to the flood of Jesus Christ. All marine spirits, yes. All serpents, squid, scorpion, what is it? Mermaids, any octopus, yes, squid, sharks, all, all evil swimming things, go. Loose us now, seahorses, frogs, loose us now, lizards, bats, dogs, lions, cats, go now for Fula Fashila, for Fula Fashila, for Kula Rahista, for Shuna, for Fula Fashila, for Kula. Lord, we pray that life would inhabit every place uprooted in Jesus Christ, name, Father God. Let it be broken and destroyed every evil assignment, every evil intention behind our brothers and sisters in Christ. Of voodoo, go. Yes, we all come in agreement, Lord, where two or three are gathered. There you are in the midst of us, Lord. Yes, and we proclaim also, I think it's Mark 16, 18. We proclaim that we shall take up serpents and drink any deadly thing. It will not harm us. We will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. We come into agreement now. We break the power and authority of Satan. Go, you're defeated. Go, all evil traps, assignments against our souls, body, health, relationships, our destiny, our futures, our ministry, anything concerning us, our households. Go, break now. Go, now, loose us now. Go, put rings of fire in the blood of Jesus around our homes, Lord. Cover our homes and our environment in your holy blood. Now, anything not of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Be swept to the foot of Jesus Christ. Roast it. Send your fire. Rain down your fire and brimstone, Lord, like Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, in Psalm 11. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord, any blockages, anything, any, any wall separating us from the visitation of God, we break it. We break it. Any walls built up in us around our hearts, go break it down. Break it down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray life would inhabit every place. <laughs> May the heavens hear my voice. May they sponsor Every evil worker sponsoring our destruction, we break off every curse off of us and send it to the cursing camp or the cursing center to fully go detonate nuclear bomb those camps now where decisions and deliberations have been fashioned against any one of us, Lord. Hide us under the shadow of your wings in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord. Angels surround us. Yes, in the name and by the blood of Jesus Christ, I break the power and hold of every curse that has come through witchcraft. Through fault practices, go. Through Freemasonry, go. Loose us now. We renounce Harima beef in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare every legal hold and every legal ground of the enemy, we break it. Disarm it, destroy it. Satan, you have no power over us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break all curses through sacrifices, our rituals of any kind, through fault practices, through Freemasonry, through idolatry, Lord. Yes, I confess. Any idolatry, I renounce it, Lord. I repent now. We order these curses and claims. Utterly disarmed and dismantled now through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. And in your mighty name, Lord. In Jesus' name, I command all demonic spirits. Loose us now. Go. Be banished from everyone on this group. Everyone listening. Our households, our families, and future generations. Fire of God. Fall upon us. Deliver us with your fires, Lord. Send hot thunderbolts over the enemy i dip 500 million arrows of the blood of jesus christ with a bomb on the end and i shoot it at any evil spirits monitoring us now go loose us now monitoring spirits we declare we are hidden in jesus christ our exploits will not be reported in hell we destroy every trap snare wild every monitoring device closed circuit television or if any mirrors anything watching us we we shut destroyed smash Beyond smithereens, Lord, angels, Jesus Christ, net every head demon and gatekeeper and send them to the throne room of God for judgment. We cancel their orders concerning us forever. Now, loose us now. We cancel all demonic assignments. Father, yes, you can give life to us and that more abundantly, Lord. We pray. 
We cancel every assignment of Satan against us now, Satan. Can we command you? Loose your grip now. Let go of any evil assignment. We dismantle it now. Go of every blueprint from hell. Be brought to ashes in the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ. We destroy every demonic strategy from hell. Go. Loose us now. Break it in our houses. Scaring us. Coming in our dreams. Feeding us at nighttime. Summoning our spirit. Having sex in a dream. Get raping by incubus succubus. Go. Loose us now. Go. We forbid it. We forbid to be defiled. We forbid any witchcraft to come into our homes. We forbid astral projection to come into our homes, our ministries, our churches. Loose us now, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Breakthroughs will come. Deliverance will come. Healing will come now. Every evil snare and trap on our past, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, angels, remove it now. Angels of deliverance, everything that is in our way. Yes, evil snares spiritual blockades dismantle it now in the name above every name angel surround us in jesus name i lose legions upon legions a ministering angels warring angels angels of healing and angels of deliverance right now in the name of yeshua hamashia to outmatch outrank and outnumber and outclass satan and his kingdom surround everybody involved in these prayers tonight bind up all evil inside and around us with everlasting chains and fetters of god break their backbone with the hands of the Holy Ghost and roast them to ashes. Now, there they go. There they go. Fire of God, fall upon us. Loose us now. Go. Do not linger. Dwell or transfer. Get out now. Go. Anything that came in through our dreams, go. We, we bring the wrath of God over every human altar. Destroy them in the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost acid, concentrated lava, flood, just like the days of Noah. We sweep all evil debris. To the abyss now, go into the abyss now, never to return again. Go in the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach, Rafula Fashula Fashula, Rafuna Fashula Fashula. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your blood. Father, thank you for the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We dip our house, our children, everything we have, our minds in the blood of Jesus Christ, everyone involved in these prayers. Holy Spirit, make us, every, as we pray these prayers, make us. Our, our location stealth to the enemy's satanic radar system that is camp experience effects of these prayers only but not our position of attack lord yes we eat the flesh of jesus and drink his blood let all demons uh, we attack tonight not see us but only see the blood of jesus christ we overcome all satanic counterattacks tonight by the blood of jesus christ angels go against the backlash we forbid any satanic counterattacks backflush now and protect the land we take from the enemy continuously we put all of our sins our ancestors sins everyone listening under the blood of jesus christ thank you father for the benefits and provision of the blood of jesus christ we stand on the ground of the blood of jesus christ to proclaim victory over sin satan and his agents in the world in jesus name that all sucked sat paralyzed spiritual milk and strength of our life be resurrected by the blood of jesus christ let the blood of jesus christ revive re-energize -energ revitalize reactivate and recalibrate all the dead potentials and spiritual gifts within us every day i apply the blood of jesus christ to every stubborn problem in our life this year we speak, sprinkle the blood of jesus christ on our body from the top of our head to the soles of our feet we dip us in the blood of yeshua hamashiach all the enemies ground loose us now Loose us now, Satan, Jesus, come rot over this land in our life. We dip our relationships, destinies, futures in the blood of Jesus Christ now. Loose us now, yes, we bind our feet to those narrow paths of righteousness and the plans and assignments you have for us now. Loose us now, Satan, we dip our marriages, finances, careers to, to, in the blood of Jesus Christ. We dip our divine opportunities, our health in the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, everything concerning us, yes. We declare the blood of Jesus redeems us by faith. We drink his blood and eat his flesh. We are one with Jesus Christ. We are forever married to Jesus Christ. We divorce every spirit spouse. We take these marriages to the court of heaven. Yes, we divorce them. Now we fall restraining orders on them and their children. Everyone involved in these prayers on our families, our ancestors, go. Now let the blood of Jesus Christ revive, re-energize, revitalize, reactivate recalibrate all dead potentials and spiritual gifts within us 
let the blood of Jesus Christ quicken all that is dead within us now. Dead bones raised to life. Raised to life. We release the voice of the blood of Jesus to destroy all manipulation against us. We soak our lives in the blood of Jesus. I paralyze all satanic oppressors de delegated against us, Lord. Our households, our families, our ministries, our finances, we bind them all satanic oppressors and paralyze them. Roast now. Go to the pit now, both who says now, there they go now. For who the fashina, the fool of fashula, for cool of golf, keep leaving. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, yes, we stand on the blood of Jesus Christ. We stand by the blood of Jesus Christ. We stand against every device of distraction. Now we stand upon the spoken word of God. We declare ourselves unshakable and unmovable. Michelle, Don, Patrick, Kevin, Pierre, Andrea. Nina, Christian, Sandra, Mariana, Kelly, Trish, anyone listening, we are all unmovable, unshakable in the name of Jesus. We ask for the wrath of God to come upon our enemies now. We bring the indignation of God. Demons tremble and let us go. We stand upon the spoken word of God and declare ourselves unshakable and unmovable in Jesus' right name. Let every door we have opened for the enemy be closed and sealed forever with the blood of Jesus Christ now go any doorways to our children be removed and sealed go headaches go we break all those curses of Freemasonry our witchcraft causing headaches now go loose us now cover our minds in the blood of Jesus Christ go let every evil seed planted against us our life now wither away just like Jesus cursed that fig tree go if we lay at the root the acts of God dipped in the blood of Jesus Christ every demonic witchcraft pollution seed implant come up now go yes let the cross the blood stand between our past and our future let every spiritual visa be revoked from any spirit trying to cross over into our future go we defeat paralyzed i defeat paralyzed and erased by the blood of jesus all spirits a financial downgrading failure at the edge of success demotion miracles vision killers dream attackers and all demons that have a ministry of problems, loose us now by the fire of God. Both let the power of the blood of Jesus Christ be released on our behalf. Let it speak against every dead bone in our life now, in our bodies. Go, we resurrect it by the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Go, loose us now. I break every witchcraft curse, hex, vex, jinx, charm, fetish, bewitchment, enchantment, encampment, incantation in the name and through the blood of jesus christ and i confess numbers 23 23 surely there is no enchantment against jacob neither is there any divination against israel according to this time it shall be said of jacob and of israel what hath god wrought every problem in our life that originated from witchcraft received divine <laughs> the blood of jesus christ now go go fear in jesus name I refute fear of noises. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. All the damage is done for our life by witchcraft be repaired. In Jesus Christ's name, all food, if we break it, every witchcraft power assigned to a, our life in marriage be bound and receive the thunder and lightning of God in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I'm just going to proclaim some scriptures over us. Okay, Jeremiah 44, 17 to 19, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. As we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, for then we had plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And when we burned incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men? Lord, if we confess anyone um, involved in these prayers or ancestors who have, you know, made burned incense to demons and, and worshipped in idolatry, we confess that. Any from marine kingdom that has any legal right for idolatry, we break those legal rights, angels cut, these soul ties, chains, cords, connections, silver cords, ley liners, bands, bond fetters, chains, hooks, link devices to voodoo, 
20 voodoo priests to all evil now. We break your covenant. Go, Marine Kingdom. Go, Marine witches. Go to the pit. Now, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, loose us. Loose us, fire of God. Now we swallow the fire of the Most High God. Go, witchcraft. Loose us now. Any witchcraft in a dream from ingesting anything. Loose us now. We vomit that food now. Go. Yes, we break that off. Neutralize it by the blood of Jesus Christ. And we proclaim Isaiah 49. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful? captive delivered but thus saith the lord even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered for i will contend with him that contended with thee and i will save thy children go oh, yes we dip our children our future generations in the blood of jesus christ now fire of god fall upon our children yes our families go oh, deliver us with your fire fall upon us our homes yes flush out anything not of the father son holy spirit roast to ashes, all enemy deposits, come out, all programming, loose us now. Now, if anything refusing to leave, I call upon the angel that slew 185,000 Syrians in one night to come and decapitate any marine witches, Lord, any marine kingdom, anything refusing to leave and dump the blood of Jesus Christ down their throat. Throw some of fire to ashes, go. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. Thank you, Lord. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after our souls. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that defies any one of our hurts now. So let them be a shaft before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Father, rain down your snares, fire and brimstone in a horrible tempest like Psalm 11. For on the wicked, this shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous, Lord, love righteousness. Your countenance doth behold the upright. Depart from us, all you workers of iniquity. For the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord hath heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all our enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Yes. Loose us now as for the head of those that compass us about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them, that burning coals fall upon them, let them be cast into fire into deep pits, that they rise not up again. Loose us now, go infirmity, sickness, disease, no plague will come near our dwelling, Lord, for you shall give your angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. The angels shall bear us up in their, in their hands, lest we dash our foot against a stone. Psalm 31, let us not be ashamed, O Lord, we have, for we have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Psalm 92, for lo, thine enemies, O Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered, but our horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. We shall be anointed with fresh oil our eye also shall see our desire on our enemies and our ears shall hear our desire of the wicked that rise up against us break their teeth O god in their mouths break out the great teeth of the young lions O lord let them melt away as waters which run continually when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows let them be as cut in pieces in the name is through the blood of jesus christ yes let the power of the blood of Jesus Christ be released on our behalf. Let it speak against every stubborn mountain in our life. Yes, let the power of the blood of Jesus Christ be released on our behalf. Everyone in this group listening, our households, our families, let it speak against every dead bone in our life. Now we resurrect it by the resurrected power of Jesus Christ. Now I apply, there we go. If I apply the blood of Jesus over our house, spouse, children, health, finances, divine opportunity, family, everything concerning us. Let every demon strategy be drowned in the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, we draw a bloodline of Jesus Christ around our home, finances, family, marriage, job, health, ministry, in the blood of Jesus. We dip our ministry work in the blood of Jesus Christ. Loose us now. Anything coming against our ministry work, be decapitated with the blood of Jesus Christ. Dump down their throat. Roast them. Loose us now. Anything coming against our anointing, be bound paralyzed, scattered, destroyed, 
Father, rain down your thunderbolts so on the enemies, scatter them with your lightning and arrow skull at every power that wants to frustrate our lives. Our progress be fragmented by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every satanic seed planted against our lives die now, wither away. Just like Jesus cursed that fig tree, we curse all evil fruit at the root. Every seed go, we lay at that root, the acts of God dipped in the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, we pour the blood of Jesus over every witchcraft altar being mobilized against anyone on this group, our listening, our spouses, our children, our families now, go, including our marriage, loose us now. We bind those trees ministering against us. Angels put them in spiritual boxes filled with the blood of Jesus Christ. Now we cut their attachments to us. We strip them of their power and good authority through the blood of Jesus Christ. Now we have authority to do that. We bind every evil queen enthroned against us and spoil her goods. We trample upon her snakes and scorpions, according to Luke 10, 19. We bind every strong man from our mother's side, our father's side, and spoil his goods. Now wither away, plantation of the strong man. Come out with all your demonic fruits. Now go. Yes, we lay at that root, the acts of God, dipped in the blood of Jesus Christ. Every stronghold, a marine kingdom, break it. Any marine witchcraft, break it. Any marine witchcraft that has been introduced through spirit, husband, wife, child in our dreams, come up by fire. In the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ, loose us now. Loose us now in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank you, Lord. We're going to pick up a new weapon, guys. So, yeah, we know, um, you know, by faith, we have, you know, we have weapons. And when we speak something, it's being done. It's being done. So if we pick up a shotgun we pick up a, a spear whatever we pick up i pick up 500 million arrows in the blood i dip them in the blood of jesus christ and i shoot it at anything refusing to let anyone prayed for go now loose us now fire of god fall upon us yes in jesus christ name loose us now that's our weapon so we're gonna pick up our spear i've actually prayed this before and i could feel beside me like stuff getting speared <laughs> So that's pretty cool when the Lord reveals that kind of stuff. So thank you, Lord. Thank you. And it says in 2 Corinthians 10, 4, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And it also says in Joshua 8, 18, and the Lord said unto Joshua, stretch out your spear that is in thy hand toward I, for I will give it into thine hand. And Joshua stretched out the spear that he had in his hand towards the city. Spirit of the Lord, locate and destroy every enemy of our destiny. Now, O heavens, bombard every evil gathering assigned against us with the spear of the Lord our Father. Locate every hidden enemy of our soul with your spear. Where is the spear of the God of Elijah? Pursue our pursuers. Now, spear them every power shooting at us from the dark. If anyone prayed for tonight, be bound. Yes, receive the spirit of the Lord and die. Go to the pit. Go to the pit of hell. Go in the name of Yeshua. Hamashiach, loose us now. Do not linger dwell or transfer. We bind anything using food to our evil powers over us and paralyze it. Go. Roast it now in the name of Yeshua. Hamashiach, come out now. All these spiders. Yes, these demonic rats. Now, all this demonic pollution. These demonic fruits come out in Jesus' name. Cleanse us of any defilement. In our dreams through Freemasonry, Lord, cleanse us from any drinkers of blood and eaters of the flesh. Hear the word of the Lord. Receive the spear of heaven. In Jesus' name, let the spear of the Lord arise and fight for us. Every power shooting us from the dark, receive the spear of the Lord. In Jesus' name, spear of the Lord, arise in the thunder of your power. Paralyze our oppressors now. Drinkers of blood, eaters of the flesh, be bound. Hear the word of the Lord, receive the spear of heaven, die. Where if let the spear of the God of Elijah pursue all our pursuers now, make their way dark and slippery. Angels of the Lord, in Jesus' name, locate every head and enemy with your spear, destroy them. Now we call upon the fishers and hunters of the Lord to pull down our enemies and throw some now. Go, Lord Jesus Christ, yes, we call fire from heaven to destroy the grip of Satan now over loose us now enemies now we command devils loose these brothers and sisters loose our marriages our children get out of our houses out of our dreams now 
every demonic chaos in our relationships, our life, Lord, causing oppression, division, distraction, dysfunction, break in Jesus, right name, break by the power of the Holy Ghost now. We remove all evil assignments of hell against us in the name is through the blood of Jesus Christ now. Thank you, Lord. Any evil thing programmed into the sun and moon against our life be dismantled in Jesus' name. Everyone on this group, everyone listening, everyone in our families, go any spiritual wickedness in this heavenlies milligating against our star. I bring the hook of the Lord against you and I frustrate your activities in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil thing written in the cycle of the moon against us, anyone prayed for tonight, be blotted out by the blood of Jesus Christ. Now go. Every satanic checkpoint mounted against us in the heavenlies, be dismantled by the word of the Lord. Come out now, loose us now, Satan. Go infirmity, sickness, disease, snakes boil out of our stomach. Come out now, go. Let every evil altar prepared against us now, anywhere, be dismantled by hot, concentrated, holy ghost lava, fires, destroy it. Every arrangement that sorcerers and witches have prepared against us, anyone in this group, our households, our families be overthrown now. It's in lightning thunder, the hook of the Lord against the evil queen, milligating against us in Jesus Christ's name. Loose us now. Loose us now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go. Go to the pit. Go to the pit. Go to the pit in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. Go. Go. Now. Go. Every assignment from hell. Loose us now in the name of through the blood of Jesus Christ. Fire. Jesus Christ, deliver us with your fire. Fresh fire of God fall upon us. I'm just going to grab a prayer one second. Okay. I just left my other book over there. Holy Spirit, please burn back to their sources. All demonic spirits attacking us. Everyone on this group listening and our families, as well as the declared elements and devices coming against us. Father, please send your mighty heavenly host. And warring angels to arrest and escort all human spirits and declared entities serving Satan in the power of darkness to your throne to receive your righteous judgment. That their orders concerning Michelle, Andrea, Nina, Trish, Kelly, Pierre, Mariana, Sandra, John, Patrick, Christian, Kevin, Lord, everyone listening, our families be counseled forever in the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ. Loose us now. Loose us now. Keep coming out now. Angels, warrior angels, hook into these devils. Rip them apart. Send them to the pitch. Now go. We forbid for anything to linger, dwell, or transfer now. Fire of the Most High God, fall upon us now. Fall upon us afresh. But we shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon us. And we shall be witnesses unto us both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and into the uttermost parts of earth, oh Lord, let your fire burn all that is not holy in us, in our homes, our lives. Yes, show us anything you want us to get rid of, Lord. Fill us with your spirit, Holy Spirit. Ignite our spirit, man. By fire, we swallow the fire of the Most High God in Jesus. And fire of God, enter into us and possess us by fire in Jesus. Right name, unquenchable fire of God, fall upon us for signs, wonders, and miracles. Let demons be exposed and cast out. With your fire, let all flesh to your fire release, Lord. Create upon Zion a flaming fire by night. Deliver us with your fire, Lord. Let your flame burn up wicked spirits. We receive the fire of God to defeat and fight strange altars. Father, Lord, arise in your power and restore your original image in us. Everyone prayed for a spirit of holiness. Wash us with the blood of Jesus Christ, our bodies, souls, our spirits, Lord. Everything concerning us, our dreams. Fire of Pentecost, fall upon us for signs, wonders, and miracles. Fire of Pentecost, fall upon us. Deliver us with your fire, Lord. Please deliver us and heal us. Blood of Jesus, enter into us. Recreate us with the blood of Jesus Christ inside and out. Yeah, enter into our lives, our relationships, Lord. Our thoughts, our desires, our actions and reactions. We bind our will to you, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, release your fire. Burn up all the works of darkness. Baptize us. With your Holy Ghost and fire hotter than hell all over our houses now. Everyone prayed for and listening. Fire of God fall upon our houses now. Burn all that is not of you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. We sweep up all demonic debris to the foot of Jesus Christ now. Just one second. Can you just lay with me?
Oh, fresh fire of God fall upon us. And then Isaiah 49, 25, but thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the, of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee and I will save thy children. Yes, Psalm 91, let them be confounded and put to shame that device and seek after us, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, yes, loose us now. Yes, Holy Spirit, burn back to their sources all evil, attacking us in the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ, send it through the pit of hell. Angels, so I come against any distractions, loose us now. Fresh fire of God, fall upon us, Lord. Baptize us with your Holy Spirit and fire. In the name is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Rafula, 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 Rafula. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all this healing and deliverance. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for this ministry, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, I'm just seeking the Lord here to see what he wants me to do. Okay, we're going to pray for our spirits. Thank you, Lord. I speak and open up pocket realms of peace, joy, wherever this is being heard, that souls are able to settle down, to relax. Lord God, I thank you in Jesus Christ's name that you are the God who is with us, Emmanuel. And when, when I do this, it brings your spirits out of bondage. It's actually very powerful, and it's brought me a lot of healing and deliverance. So it's the fastest road to activation and breakthrough is to acknowledge and bless your spirit because usually the spirit does not get it acknowledged. I've done some research on this and I've actually done a lot of, um, you know, research from watching deliverance videos and from praying over people and from this sort of doing this sort of thing on myself and my family. Um, but yeah, I will say it is powerful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for introducing me to this. Um, cause it's, it's been fairly new this prayer, but thank you, Lord. Thank you so much in Jesus Christ's name. As I move forward, I ask you, Lord, for legions upon legions of angels to be equipped. And I call them armed with light and frequency based weapons, uh, arrows, lightning, weapons of warfare and upgraded reinforced armor and charged with the names of God, Adonai. El Elyon, the names of God in the Bible, Elohim, Jehovah Jireh, El Olam, El Roy, El Shaddai, Jehovah Sabaoth, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Sikhanu, Yahweh, Jehovah Hosinu, Kwana, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Raha, Jehovah Nisi, which means God is our banner, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Gibbawar, Jehovah Nekedish, Jehovah Mekedish, come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. And I speak that the angels are being loosed on assignment to go and do battle wherever there are human spirits that are belonging to those listening, Lord, that have been locked up and bound. I speak that the armies of the Lord are going forth for the purpose of liberation, that they are given the keys to every gate, frequency, barrier, equation, cloaking device, force field, sacred geometry, defense protocol, formula, apex of time, DNA matrix that would otherwise lock down and inhibit and imprison human spirits, preventing them from engaging. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that wormholes are being opened up for transport such that those human spirits can be brought back where they belong. I speak this and this command is issued now. And Lord, in Jesus' name, it is being executed now, Lord God. Thank you that there is more than enough godliness as it is in Christ, Lord. And you provide more than we can ask. I think right now, in Jesus' name, we, I bless all of the human spirits in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We honor you. In Jesus Christ's name, and, and, Jesus, and I ask you to be present at the surface, and you are being uh, invited because you belong, and you need to remember some scriptures from the Bible of who you are. You are light from light, for it is written that nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. You are breath, for it is written the Lord God formed man from the depths of the ground and breathe life into his nostrils and man became a living soul you are that breath and you are wind the wind blows where it wants and you hear the sound of it but cannot tell where it comes from or where it goes so is everyone who is born of the spirit there jesus christ came baptized in the holy spirit of fire so i speak over you spirits your flame is now being mingled with the fire of jesus christ Thank you, Lord. Yes, you are love. It is written that God is love and you were created by love, from love and for love. So I charge with you the strength and life of Jesus Christ for we have strength and might by his spirit in the inner man. 
thank you. You are smoke for there went up smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. If our coals were kindled by it, I can feel like myself being healed right now. Like I can already feel um, breakthrough. And then there's a part up here that's really powerful. I'll tell, I, Lord, I speak the immediate removal of every impaling object, spear, arrow, tracking device, chain, handcuff, gagging device, knives, knives in the back, anything in the back, Lord. And I speak a special healing of betrayal wounds going forth from the throne of the Father right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty, mighty name. Please remove any counterfeit garments, Lord. And we ask you for the outpouring of the healing balm of Gilead over wounded spirits and the application of the stripes of Jesus Christ. We ask for the outpouring of large quantities of the oil of anointing over the heads of those spirits, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you that they are issued bread of life to eat and living water to drink. Well, I felt that. Wow. And I thank you for the fellowship and communion of the saints and your body that was broken for us, Lord Jesus. Thank you. You are the bread of life, King Jesus. Whoever, whoever believeth on you shall never thirst. Whoever cometh to you shall never thirst. And whoever believeth on you shall never go hungry. Thank you that the glory of God is poured over us and over the spirits that are brought forward. Thank you for the issuance of new garments of righteousness, garments of praise, garments of vengeance, cloaks of zeal. Thank you, Lord God, that where armor has been lost, missing, ill-fitted, Lord, there's an issuance of new upgraded, reinforced armor of God. In Jesus' Christ's name, thank you, Lord, that you have made spirits an essential part of our design. And thank you for all of this breakthrough, for this deliverance and healing. And to the human spirits that have been prayed over and blessed, I'm inviting you to speak and tell your souls what you want them to know. Thank you. Thank you, Father God, for washing spirits in living water, soap of hyssop, and thank you for storing voices where vocal cords have been stolen, sight where eyes have been stolen, ears where he hearing has been stolen from the spirits. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Lungs where breath has been stolen, Lord God. We pray that for those ready, you would give them foreshadowing. And thank you for the frequencies of restoration and healing that come from you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You're so amazing. We ask you to show them, give them knowledge, wisdom, discernment, and show them their archi when they are ready. Thank you that you stand at a door and knock, and we invite you to come in and meet with these spirits brought forward around those prayed for. Thank you, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, in the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Okay. So I'm going to pray over foundational pollution. Thank you. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Obadiah 117, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. We thank you, God, for making provisions for deliverance from any form of bondage. Thank you that we have confessed our sins and those of our ancestors. We confess any sins linked to evil powers and we cover them in the blood of Jesus. We release ourselves from any inherited bondage. Lord, send your acts a fire to dipped in the blood of Jesus Christ to the foundation of our problems in our life and destroy every evil plantation. Let the blood of Jesus flush out of our system, flush out of us every inherited satanic deposit by the fire in the blood of Jesus Christ. Fire of God, blood of Jesus, flush out all infirmity, sickness, disease, kundalini, all witchcraft, any pollution. Now we release ourselves from the grip of any problem transferred from the womb, go into our soul's body, health, our life, our relationships, go let the blood of Jesus, the fires of the Holy Ghost cleanse every organ in our body. We break and loose ourselves from every evil covenant through the blood of Jesus Christ. We break and loose ourselves from every inherited curse through the blood of Jesus Christ. We vomit every evil consumption we have been fed as a child in our dreams and any realm in the natural and the spirit, go. I command all foundational strongmen attached to us 
to be bound and paralyzed. We break your backbone with the hands of the Holy Ghost. We spoil your goods, decapitate them, loose us now. Let any rod of the wicked rising up against us, anyone in this group listening, our family line be rendered impotent for our sake now in the name is through the blood of Jesus Christ. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and out of the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. I cancel the consequences of any evil local name attached to our person. Anyone prayed for now, go loose us now, purge with the blood of Jesus Christ out of our foundation. Every wrong exposure to sex, every parental curse, boil out. Holy Ghost fire head to toe now covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Every legal right, a demonic alteration, a destiny, exposure, exposure. We bind all exposure to evil diviner. Loose us now by the fire of God, any envious rivalry. Loose us now, witchcraft fellowship with demonic consultants. Go, boil out, boil out in Jesus' name. All in scriptural manner of conception. Loose our children, loose us now. Go, wrong exposure to sex. All destructive effect of polygamy. Go, go, marine kingdom. Go, we break your covenants, contracts. Through any parental curses, through Freemasonry. Through destructive effect of polygamy. Loose us now. For any demonic sacrifice, go purge out of our foundation with the blood of Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost fire. For every inherited infirmity, go for now demonic marriage. Loose us now, go exposure to evil diviner, demonic alteration of destiny. We cut those attachments, go to Kundalini, to anyone on our bloodline. Flush it out by the blood of Jesus Christ, boil it out with holy fire. Every evil physical design, loose us now. We cleanse our DNA, our genes, and the blood of Jesus. We align our bodies, our genes, with the blood of Jesus Christ. Boil out now. Every evil foundational plantation come out of our life with all your roots now. Go. We break and loose ourselves from every form of demonic bewitching. Now we release ourselves from every dominion and control. Through the blood and name of Jesus Christ, let the blood of Jesus be transfused, injected into our blood vessels. We flush out all wrong exposure to sex. Demonic blood transfusion, loose us now. The foundation, now we purge it out. Lord Jesus Christ, yes, let every gate open to the enemy by our foundation be closed forever and sealed with the blood of Jesus Christ. I loose angels to stand guard at our gates to our life in our cities. Everyone involved in these prayers, Lord Jesus Christ, please walk back into every second of our life now and bind anything coming against us in our future and paralyze it. Take rod over that property, Jesus Christ. Cover all the enemy's ground and this coming against everyone in this group, our households, our families, and the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, walk back into every second of our life. Deliver us where we need deliverance. We bring he and heal us where we need healing. Transform us where we need transformation. Restore where we need restoration. to dip us in your blood. Jesus Christ, now go. We purge ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ, of all evil foods we have eaten consciously or unconsciously in any evil association. We cut those attachments, decapitate them, dump the blood down their throat, roast them. We refuse for our spirits to be summoned at night. In our dreams, we I withdraw and cancel all of our names from any evil register with the blood of Jesus. Anyone listening, Andrea, Nina, Michelle, Don, Pastor Nate, Patrick, Kevin, Sandra, Mariana, Kelly, Trish, Nina, Pierre, Christian, Go, yes, anyone in our families or our bloodlines, we are checked. We take our names, photos, DNA, all these altars in the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ forever under the sea on land, including our ancestors with the blood of Jesus and roast these altars. We cut all these demonic connections to us and burn it away in Jesus' name. We purge ourselves with the blood of Jesus of all demonic contamination. Now of all defilements with the blood of Jesus, we withdraw any part of our body and blood in the custody of evil altar. Throw those altars now, flush it away with the blood of Jesus Christ. We withdraw our pictures, image, inner man from every evil altar and coffers of evil associations in the name is through the blood of our Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you. We return all things of evil associations. Now, both, yes, loose us now. We confess total separation from any evil association in jesus name holy spirit fire build a wall of fire around us be the glory in our midst yes make it impossible for every evil spirit to come at us again holy ghost fire build a hedge of protection 
around us. Lord, everyone prayed for a thank you. We break any vow, covenant, contract, dedication, oath, agreement with occult, New Age, Eastern mysticism, Hinduism. Now, if anything binding us with evil association, break it. Anything with our names, photos, DNA on it. Anything binding us to the enemy, stamped with the blood of Jesus, nailed to the cross, roasted. Come out, New Age devils, go Kundalini. Foe, come out of our chakras. We close and seal our third eye and chakras with the blood of Jesus Christ. Fire of God, fall upon us. Loose us now. Yes, fire of God, fall upon us for signs, wonders, miracles. Loose us now. Any demonic birds flying against us, roast it. Roast them now. Hide us under the shadow of your wings now for Fula Fashina. I get 500 million arrows in the blood of Jesus with a bomb on the end. I shoot it at an evil bird flying against us or over us now. Roast them. Come out now if we confess total separation from every evil association. Anyone on this group, anyone listening, our families now, our household, we purge ourselves with the blood of Jesus. All evil foods, everything poison, anything ingested, injected, flushed it out. We break off witchcraft, parental curses. Now go purge our foundation. Holy Ghost blood transfusion from any demonic blood transfusion poison. We bind anything doing that and paralyze it. Go, we break its backbone. The hands of the Holy Ghost go, which is go marine, which is go family, which is who's just now inherited, which is go. We withdraw any part of our body and blood in custody of evil altar. In Jesus Christ's name, now go. We cut these demonic attachments. Every soul tie, chain, cord, connection, silver cord, ley line, or band, bond, fetter, chain, hook, link, device in the name of Jesus Christ. Roast it now. Go. Yes. We cleanse any part of our body and blood in, in the blood of Jesus Christ. Now we remove it from these altars. The fire of God and the blood of Jesus Christ. We bind and roast the priests to ashes. Go. We sweep them to the foot of Jesus Christ. Go. We purge ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ continuously. We reject and renounce any evil name given to us. Yes, in any evil association. We separate from evil association. With Holy Ghost fire and the blood of Jesus, we break every covenant. Binding us to evil association in the name of Jesus Christ. We break all inherited covenants. Consciously or unconsciously. And yes, if anything that we have entered into unconsciously, consciously, we break it now. We break off every curse that has come through disobedience and rebellion. We bind the demons attached to any covenant and cast them to the pit. Go. Loose us now. Fire. Loose us now. Froze them now. Let that unending tempest storm of arrows of Yahweh dip in the blood of Jesus with a bomb on the end. Be upon any demons attached to these evil covenants. Go. Till they are scattered, rooted, destroyed, Father, and power from the third heaven to destroy them. We renounce and revoke all oaths now consciously or unconsciously while entering any evil association with kundalini with freemasonry we cut these attachments now now i intercede for this these saints we resist every attempt to return us back to any evil association with the blood of jesus fire brimstone and thunder of god hail thunder lightning mixed with the blood of jesus christ loose us now yes we break every covenant binding us with evil association any witchcraft we break all inherited covenants through the blood of Jesus Christ. We cast them into the deep, all these devils. Loose us now. Loose our children. Don't come back in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. Loose us now. We declare our body, soul, spirit dipped in the blood of Jesus and no go for evil spirits. So everyone prayed for Let the Holy Ghost affect immediate breakthrough in every area of our life. We confess deliverance shall remain permanent, never to be reversed. Again, let all evil competitors be bound. Stumble and fall. Go infirmity, sickness, disease. We flush you out with the blood of Jesus Christ. Go to the pit. Go to the pit of hell. Let all our adversaries make mistakes that will advance our cause. Everyone prayed for now. I send confusion to the camp of all evil counselors planning against our progress. Anything concerning us, confusion. I command darkness in the camp of our enemies. Go. We remove everyone prayed for our names from the book of failure and demonic sidetracking now. In Jesus' Christ's name, loose us now. Go. Loose us now. All demonic spirits attached to any covenant and curses in every department of our life. Our souls, our spirits, bodies be frosted with the fire of God. We cut these soul ties, Lord. Break down every 
evil foundation of our life, rebuild new one on Christ the rock. Break it, break it. I break and cancel every inherited curse in the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ. I break and revoke every blood and soul tie covenant and yokes that are attached to any satanic agent. Throw some by the fire of God. We purge ourselves of all evil foods. Yes, unconsciously or consciously eaten with the blood of Jesus Christ. Purify us inside and out. Lord, restore the original image in us. Make us who you want us to be. Yes, purge us with Holy Ghost fire. We break every inherited curse now in the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, let every area of our life experience your wonder-working power. We refuse to enter into any trap by evil association against us now. If our life go, we break and loose ourselves from every collective covenant. Now, we break every collective covenant curse. We break every covenant with any idols at the, and the yoke attached to it now. Go, Holy Ghost, effective immediately breakthrough in every area of our life. Deliverance shall remain permanent. Loose us now, Satan. Full. I break and cancel every curse, spell, hex, enchantment, bewitching, incantation placed to go behind us by any satanic agent through the blood of Jesus Christ. Go. Depart from us now, you workers of iniquity. Go. I command the fire of God to roast and burn to ashes every evil bird, snake, or any other animal attached to us or life. By any evil association, rose. Lord, break down every evil foundation of our life. Rebuild a new one on Christ the rock. Fire of God, go. We break and cancel every evil mark, incision, writing place in our spirit and body, soul, as a result of any evil association with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, purify our body, soul, and spirit with the blood of Jesus Christ and holy fire. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, loose us now. Keep coming out in the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ. Go straight to the pit of hell in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Just going to break off some more witchcraft here. Every witchcraft padlock fashion against us break by the fire of God. Psalm 107, for hath broken the gates of brass. And cut the bars of iron in sunder, Lord. Break the witchcraft padlocks off our womb, off our favor, gratuity, off of our opportunities, our breakthrough, off of our computers, vehicles, progress, promotion. Break it now. Every witchcraft padlock fashion against us. Anyone on this group listening, our household families, break by fire. Break every covenant of witchcraft, be melted by the blood of Jesus Christ, every witchcraft poison destroyed, let the blood of Jesus cancel. Every witchcraft initiation fashion against our destiny, we deliver our soul from every witchcraft bewitchment, every witchcraft identification mark, be wiped away with the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus block the flying root of witchcraft powers targeted against us, fire of God, loose us now. Lord, anyone is welcome to pray as well. If you guys feel led, you can step in any time. Lord, I dismantle. Lord, I command the fire of God to roast and burn to ashes every evil bird, snake, or other animal attached to us. Now, for our lives, our souls, our bodies, our dreams, I dismantle every hindrance, obstacle, or blockage put in the way of our progress by any evil association. All the doors of blessing and breakthrough shut against us. By any evil association, I command you, be open in Jesus' Christ's name. I break every and cancel every inherited curse, Lord. Remove from us, yes, everyone prayed for all the curses placed upon us by ancestral families as a result of their involvement in evil associations. Now, Freemasonry, occult, we break and cancel every curse placed on us by our parents. Go, we break every food and curse now for every blood and soul tie covenant and yokes. Attached to any satanic agent. Fire of God, fall upon our souls, bodies, and spirits. So no go for evil spirits. Go. Loose us now, Lord. Give us power to always be ahead of our competitors in terms of favor and independent assignment. Make our past confusing to the enemies. Lord, give us power to drink from the well of salvation. Lord, give us power 
to possess more wisdom than our competitors. Lord, give us power to make use of divine opportunity presented to us. Let all the adversaries of our breakthroughs be put to shame in Jesus' name. In the movement of your power throughout this program, Lord, do not pass us by. I command all scorpion spirits sent against us to become stingless in Jesus' name. Let all of our Herod receive spiritual decay. Let every power circulating our name for evil receive disgrace in Jesus' name. Loose us now, fires. Let all of our adversaries be put to shame. Loose us now. Flow to the pitch. Go. All these blockages be removed. Anything trying to block or hinder my prayers be bound. Smashed, destroyed, roasted by the fire of God. Go. Loose us now. We break every legal right of the enemy in the name is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Okay, the Lord wants me to pray um, some healing prayers over us. Oops. Ah. Did anybody else, did you guys have a prayer that you want to say or anything? Anybody, if you guys have a prayer, you're more than welcome to. I just want to thank the Lord. Um, I just want to thank you, Lord, for all this healing and deliverance and um, you know, all this deep rooted stuff that is really, really coming out. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, it's almost like another layer or something. I feel like I hit like another layer um, in myself anyways. Um, but we thank you, Lord, for all with all of our hearts, Lord, and we establish everything prayed for by your precious blood. Um, I just loose your angels, legions of them to outmatch and outrank and outnumber and outclass Satan in his kingdom and just protect all the land we have taken from the enemy. And we proclaim nothing can be taken from what was done tonight. And we just loose your legions of angels to go out against the backlash, the queen of heaven, everything coming against us, the fire and queen of coast, Baal, Lucifer, queen of heaven in Jesus Christ's name. And we come against all demonic rulers, principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness, of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places, all strong men and strong demons. We bind them and paralyze them. Yes, along with all evil spirits, now we destroy all their works. Fruits, roots, tentacles, links, we roast them all. Holy Ghost, bulldoze, all octopus and squid. We break all voodoo, all voodoo spiders. Yes, receive Holy Ghost, bulldoze for now. Go. I've actually gotten deliverance from that one too. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we destroy all tentacles and links now. We pray life would inhabit every place uprooted. We declare we are hidden in you, Jesus. Our exploits will not be recorded in hell. And we release legions of angels to go out against the backlash. We forbid any demonic counterattack. We pray all demonic debris and evil spirits would be swept to the foot of Jesus Christ. We bind up all evil and unclean spirits from affecting us and paralyze them. We loose your angels to minister unto us day and night. We, we pray for the plunder from our efforts and for healing to begin and continue. We bind to ourselves prosperity and increase in every way over our lives, Lord. And also, um, we just put, we put the cross of blood, the sacrifice of Jesus in front of everyone involved in these prayers in between us and any marine spirits or familiar spirits, any voodoo or any demonic spiders, everything. And we put a hedge of protection by the blood of Jesus and holy fire around Every person involved in the warfare, including our loved ones, Lord, we put a hedge of the blood of Jesus and the fire of God around our minds, our homes, families, finances, health, jobs, ministries, relationships, our health, our careers, our vehicles, our destinies, futures, our spirits, everything, our dreams. Thank you, Lord. Fill us with your spirit. We need you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. I'm just going to pray. Um for because i know um i know that you know deliverance is important but you know i'm coming to you know learn that inner healing prayers are very you know important too and i'm just going to remind you guys you know to, that you have to deal with your trauma in those situations that you know we often try to avoid or forget about or push down we have to go back and and deal with that pain and that hurt and invite Jesus into those places. And then the more we do that and deal with it, you know, the freer we get and the, um, you know, the less oppressed we get and, you know, the less, yeah, 
just you need healing and you need to risk cast out the devils attached to that or forgive um there is lots of healing prayers on the deliverance revolution site as well um but yeah lord jesus we ask that you would come our lord our savior and just bring peace to us lord everyone in this group um to you know michelle and andrea nina trish kelly mariana sandra pierre don patrick kevin christian anybody listening everyone in our households and our families come and establish your dominion of peace and we pray for inner healing. We pray that you would manifest yourself in such a way, Lord, that we would know that you are here. And we ask, and we want to feel the depths of your love. Help us to feel that and feel, you know, that all of that storage love, Lord, we need that storage love. And we break any generational curses of not being mothered. We ask, and we dip our bodies, our souls, our spirits, any part that would need healing in the blood of Jesus Christ. And we just pray for healing for any body trauma lord in our in our children as well and we ask that you rebuke lord any forces of darkness that would seem to harm us in any way or that would that would want to have us locked in the prison of trauma you have not given us a spirit of fear but a power love and a sound mind and we claim this for us today for everyone listening for our households our families and lord as we pray we ask that you would be as a sponge and draw from all of us all the pain, trauma, shock, fear, terror, bring it all to the death at the foot of your cross, Jesus Christ. You suffered and died for us, and we thank you that you, what you accomplished for us on the cross, help us, you know, to do your will and not do it in vain. Pour in your love and grace, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord, remove any traumatic memory that has been stored in the cells of our bodies, and restore the cells to perfect order and vibration for a complete state of homeostasis, Lord. And I bless the very moment of conception when we came to be. We bless every moment that we were in our mother's womb. And Holy Spirit, we ask that you brought over the original DNA and restore all the vibrations, frequencies, tones, and colors within us, Lord. Everyone prayed for and remove anything that is not of you, Lord. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for this healing. We ask that you would remove any trauma experienced in our lifetime, in our childhood, in our womb, absorbed from the womb, passed down through the generations. We ask that you would heal the very DNA and remove all shock, trauma, fear, terror, shame, Lord. Anything that is not of you now, please remove it from us, Lord. Please remove anything as well that has come from the generational flow the bloodline yes and we plant the cross of jesus christ firmly between us and our generations everyone in this group and listening our households and our families we ask that all iniquity be stopped stopped at the cross of christ please forgive us lord forgive us or anyone in our generations our parents our, our spouses lord any one of our ex-lovers who traumatize others are manipulated dominated or controlled through fear and torment please release your precious blood and heal all unresolved grief and pain from us lord from any past relationships from the womb from from birth from birth from from our life lord from childhood you know we ask that you bless us lord and we call you forth into this newness of newness of life. We say you are welcome on this earth. There is a safe place for you. This is what I speak to us in our spirits. You know, we bless our, our birth and we call us forth into newness of life. You are welcome on this earth. There is a place for you here and your heavenly father has a purpose for you and a plan to give you a future and a hope and prosper you in every way. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, thank you for all this healing, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we break off anything written, spoken, unspoken, transferred to us. Please, Father, <clears throat> bring your healing and remove all this trauma, shock, fear, terror, Lord. Everything, anything we experienced in the birthing process or in moments following, including my son, our children, everyone prayed for, Lord, help us to fully embrace the life you have given us, Lord. Please come into our conscious memory, our unconscious memory, 
our subconscious memory cleanse these areas, our conscious, unconscious, subconscious, and the blood of Jesus now. Yes, everyone in this group listening, our households, our families, cleanse our conscious memory, unconscious memory, and subconscious now. Remove all shock, trauma, fear, shame, all pain, Lord, anything that has caused torment. Yes, remove it. Please heal the brain, Lord, the amygdala. How do you pronounce it? Amygdala. Amygdala. I can't pronounce it. Amygdala. Okay. Amygdala. Thank you. Thank you. Heal the amygdala, Lord, and remove all shock, trauma, fear, terror, and shame, Lord, from the emotions. Cleanse our emotions. Everyone listening, everyone prayed for with the blood of Jesus. Please bring healing to the fear center of our brain. Everyone in this group listening, our households, our families, yes. Yes. And turn off the anxiety that has been present for so long. Replace the fear, dread, and hypervigilance with godly discernment, Lord. Please give us wisdom, knowledge, discernment. Let us know when there is true danger and give us wisdom to know how to deal with it. Please bring peace and rest to every part of our heart, Lord. Any part that has always had to stand guard and be alert, please remove any pervasive low-level anxiety and heal the immune system and remove all toxins that remain from any chemicals or hormones that have poured through any one of our bodies for so many years, Father. Please remove the trauma, yes, from all of our eyes and ears. Everyone prayed over, wash, Lord, over any images seared upon the soul, body, spirit with the blood of Jesus. Remove the trauma from any words spoken and remove any disharmony, disease, dis-ease or disorder that these words or images have caused. Sing your song of love over us, Lord. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood. See, I used to be shy to sing, and now I'm like, okay, I'll sing. If it's for Jesus or for healing, I will sing. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Come for a cleansing to Calvary's tide. There's wonderful power in the blood. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yeah, sing over us, Lord. Sing over us. Um, and please, Lord, um, sing your song of love over us and bring everything within us into agreement with your song and original design for us in our lives and cleanse us in your blood, Jesus Christ. Anything not of you, flush it all. In the name and by the blood of Jesus Christ, I prophesy order and healing into our minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Yes, please remove any trauma shame lord anything that is associated with trauma from the skin with scent or trauma anything that has shaken us to the core of our foundations we ask you to heal every crack wound with your love seal any wounds with the blood of jesus christ any doorways yes everything that is coming through trauma loose us now loose our children loose us now our marriages yes our souls our spirits lord everyone prayed for restore trust and the grace to believe in you and receive your promises and to trust others as well we ask you lord jesus that you would remove all shock trauma fear terror and shame from the will and the spirits of everyone prayed over restore our will and strength in every way lord jesus please remove that shock trauma fear terror shame anything not a few lord from the muscles ligaments tendons bones bone marrow cover these tendons muscles ligaments bones bone marrow and your blood of jesus christ healing by the stripes of jesus we proclaim anything not if you leave please bring healing power to every area lord where our spirit everyone prayed for our spirits have been crushed or broken please restore health vitality and vigor make our bones and our connective tissue strong we ask that you would remove all shock trauma fear and terror from our organs cover our organs in the blood of jesus christ healing from any we take our organs off any witchcraft altar lord yes 
cover our heart, liver, lungs, spleen, our kidneys, our um, stomach and the blood of Jesus, our liver, Lord, all of our organs and the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, please remove all shock from our organs. We close any doorways, gateways, portals to the enemy and marine witches and seal them with the blood of Jesus Christ. Please, Lord, sever all fear bonds, all trauma bonds, all unhealthy and unholy soul ties that have been created through trauma of everyone listening in this group, our households, our family, our children. Yes, loose us now. Yes, loose us now. All these, anything, any soul ties and fear bonds, trauma bonds create, just cut them, Lord. And I break it. We break every assignment of trauma against everyone prayed for, to, everyone prayed for. And we bind away and send away every guard assigned to us. We receive and appropriate the love, power, and soundness of mind that you have promised to give us, Lord Jesus. Please, please, yes, for Fula Fashina, for Kula Rehista, Afuna for Fula Fakila. Bring Lord Jesus, bring to death any old ways of responding and reacting to shock, trauma, fear, terror, dismantle the ungodly structures of defense, and establish new neurological new neurological connections to the joy center. Cover these neurological connections in the blood of Jesus Christ. Please rebuild within us new godly structures of defense based on scripture, trust in you, and true understanding of our spiritual authority as daughters and sons of the King, our Lord and Savior. We, be, we have been given a power and authority to reign as kings and priests on earth and for all eternity. Go, Lord, fill every cell with your peace and healing grace. Lord, displace any darkness with your light, keep us in your perfect peace, especially in the night seasons. Bring rest, Lord. Send heavenly hosts to guard us all day and night as we sleep, as we come and go. And quiet us with your love, Lord. For this, we offer the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just going to send a little bit more fire the lord wants me to pray some more fire just to send anything that might be lingering out and then um i will give you guys a chance to pray if anybody wants to and then um we'll probably stop the recording and maybe fellowship for a little bit afterwards um lord please help me to find what i'm looking for thank you lord Thank you so much. You're such a good God. Thank you for all the healing and deliverance tonight. We give you all the glory and we confess um, Acts 1.8, but we shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon us and we shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and into the uttermost parts of the earth. Yes, that is our sword of the spirit, the word of God, fire of the most high God fall upon us afresh in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, burn all that is not holy in us and quenchable fire of God fall upon us for signs, wonders, and miracles in Jesus' name. We swallow the fire of the most high God. Everyone prayed for, Lord, let your fire burn all that is not holy in our lives, Lord. In Jesus' Christ's name, Lord, let your fire burn all that is not holy in our bodies. We bind anything in our bodies lingering, decapitate it, roast it, now cover it in the blood, go to the pit, Leave now, get out of our houses, loose these saints. Father, fill us with your Holy Spirit, we pray. Life would inhabit every place uprooted. Lord, let your fire burn all that is not holy in our bodies, souls, spirits, our organs, our stomachs. We swallow the fire of the Most High God. Loose us now, Fundalini, go, do not linger, dwell, or transfer. Go to where Jesus Christ sends you. Oh, Marine Kingdom, Marine Witches, go. We strip you of your power and give authority. Decapitate you, dump the blood of Jesus Christ down your throat. Yes, for Fula Begista for Shuna, for Fula for Shuna for Kula Rehista, for Funa for Shula for Kila Rehasta for Shuna, or Hila for Shuna, fire of God, enter into us, possess us by fire. Yes, loose us now, Satan, in the kingdom of darkness. We put you under our feet. We are the head and not the tail. We are above. And not beneath, we, tr we trample upon Satan and the kingdom of darkness, all snakes and scorpions, with our shoes of the gospel dipped in the blood of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, ignite our spirit man by fire, keep it ignited, deliver us with your fire, Lord, release your hot thunderbolts against the enemy, Psalm 78, 48, release your hot thunderbolts against the enemy, Father, Lord, 
Arise in your power, restore your original image in us, Lord. We need you. We receive the fresh fire of God to defeat and fight the enemy and strange altars. Go, blood of Jesus, enter into our lives, our souls, our bodies, our spirits, our homes. Recreate us in Jesus' name. The power of God that was released upon Apostle Paul for great exploits fall upon us now. Everyone prayed for now. Go, Lord, sanctify us inside and out completely in Jesus' name. Yes, fire of Pentecost, fall upon us in Jesus' name. Spirit of holiness, wash our bodies, souls, and spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, wash us with your holy blood inside and out. Sanctify us, Lord. Wash our souls, bodies, spirits with the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord, arise in your power. Restore your original image in us, Lord. Create upon Zion a flaming fire by night. Yes, we bind everything not of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit still lingering in and around everyone prayed for we paralyzed it roast it with the fire of god inside and out we swallow the fire of the most high god hotter hotter than hell hotter burn let your flame burn up wicked spirits but that demons we be bound exposed and cast out with your holy fire yes go let all flesh see your fire release go marine spirits holy ghost acid concentrated flood mixed with the blood of the lamb we are healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. We forbid anything to come against us now, against our health. We bind it. Go eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. Be bound and decapitated. Choke on the blood of Jesus Christ. Now dump the blood of Jesus Christ down their throat. Cover them in the blood of Jesus Christ. Roast them. Ascend all evil debris to the foot of Jesus Christ. Yes, the power of God that was released upon Apostle Paul for great exploits fall upon us in jesus name fall upon us sanctify us inside and out yes inside and out does anyone want to proclaim psalm 91 psalm 91 does anyone got it handy no okay he lord we proclaim psalm 91 over us the protection prayer It'll bring us peace. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, you are a refuge in our fortress, our God, and you we will trust. Surely you shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. You shall cover us with your feathers and under your wings we shall seek refuge. Your truth shall be our shield and buckler. We shall not be afraid for the arrow by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked, because we have made the Lord, which is our refuge, even the most high our dwelling place. Therefore shall no evil befall us, neither shall any plague come near our dwelling, for you shall give your angels charge over us, to keep us in all our ways, the angels shall bear us up in their hands. If we dash our foot against a stone, we shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon. We shall trample underfoot because he has set his love upon us. Therefore, he will deliver us. He will set us on high because we have known his name. We call upon you, Yeshua HaMashiach. We call upon you to save us. We need you. You will answer us. You will be with us in trouble. You will deliver us and honor us with long life. You will satisfy us and show us our salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, King Jesus. Okay. Let's see his kingdom come.